and in this corner. Tonight's clash involves the Republican Party and gay Americans. One of today's hottest items in the political blogosphere is an Atlantic Magazine article in which former Republican Party Chairman Ken Melman reveals he's gay. Melman was President Bush's campaign manager back in 2004, the year Republicans put same-sex marriage questions on state ballots, I believe it was 11 states, to draw social conservatives to the polls. With me to debate this now from San Francisco, R. Clark Cooper. He's executive director of the Log Cabin Republicans. And in New York, Michelangelo Signorelli, who hosts the daily political talk show on the Sirius XM LGBT channel, OutQ. Gentlemen, let me just start with a very simple question. If you read the blogosphere today, there are some who say, good for Mr. Melman for coming to terms with this and speaking out publicly. He is now raising money for proponents of same-sex marriage out in California and offering them strategic advice. Many say good for him. Others are saying, well, no, he's a hypocrite because he was part of the Bush campaign back in 2004, which used this as a wedge issue to try to turn out Republican voters. Mr. Cooper, to you first. Does Ken Melman owe some kind of an apology? Well, he already has apologized. Uh, he already has said he regrets uh, where he was earlier, as you mentioned, 2004. And I want to remind your viewers that Ken was at a different place. Anybody who's been through what he's been through, uh, the coming out process, it doesn't happen overnight. It's an evolving process. I remember when I was in that space, when I worked for Governor Jeb Bush, and I finally came out during the first term of the Bush administration myself. It's not easy. It's a crucible period. It's very difficult. And before one actually comes out publicly, they have to come out to themselves. So not knowing what was in Ken's head at the time, and I'm not speaking on his behalf, but one could presume he wasn't out to himself at that time. Uh, the good news is he is out, and he's fine. He's reconciled it uh, with himself, and he wants to work, uh, look toward the future in advancing civil rights for all uh, and working for an inclusive Republican Party. That, that is what Mr. Cooper says, Mr. Senior Lee. You just heard it. I Just before you speak, I want to read you something that Joe Gervais, a blogger and editor of Joe My God, he writes about gay culture. He wrote this, you don't have to be gay or out to know that discrimination and bigotry is wrong. Don't let Melman's personal journey babble snow you. Do you agree with Mr. Cooper or do you agree with Mr. Gervais? Oh, I, I uh, agree uh, absolutely with uh, Joe Jervis. You know, uh, everybody has a journey, but no matter where you are, there is right and wrong. And the Republican Party at the time was pushing a virulently anti-gay campaign, demonizing gay people in the states. He was the Republican National Committee chairman. He okayed all of the ads, ads that really turned gay people into monsters in many communities. And, you know, a, a lot of people knew he was gay back then. Uh, it has been talked about and blogged about. I, I don't know how far along he was on his journey, but I think he was far enough that he knew right from wrong. Uh, I want both of you to continue the conversation. I want you to listen to something Mr. Melman said on our air on CNN to Judy Woodruff back in 2004 on this very question, the debate about same-sex marriage and its role in the campaign. Well, I think Judy, uh, one thing about our party, we are a big tent party. People will disagree on this and on other issues. Uh, but nevertheless, the president strongly believes marriage is between a man and a woman, and he intends to work to make sure that's the case. And I, I want to read you something. I had a phone conversation with Ken today, and I should disclose to our viewers, I've known him for a very long time. I consider him to be a friend and a good man. This is what Ken told me earlier today. When you don't accept a part of your life, it me makes things unbelievably difficult on all kinds of levels. And this is an example of that. Knowing how much I tried to push the envelope in other areas and attracting new constituents to our party, I look back and wish there was something I had done in this area. It was something about my life I was having a hard time accepting then, and I can't change that. What I can do is try to be helpful in the future. I understand people who are going to be angry. I have to look forward and do what I think is right. That all? Good. Well, I... You know, uh, exactly. if, somebody, is, is, if is, somebody is willing to come out and, and help, I think it's great, and uh, we should accept their help and, and uh, use all of the connections he has. That is terrific. But we cannot sweep under the rug what happened. You know, I've spent the day on the radio listening to people tell me about their how their lives were destroyed in these campaigns. In Arizona, people being forced to move. Their neighbors turned against them. Uh, in Wisconsin, people's homes defaced, their children attacked. These campaigns were brutal. They used homophobia, they used hate, and they used religious bigotry. That needs to be uh, addressed. He needs to be held accountable, and, and history needs to record it. It cannot be swept under the rug. Has, has Michael, it, has this it been addressed? Be, Michael, this is being addressed. It is being addressed. Of course it's being addressed. This is, you, we're, we're talking about it right now. We have moved, we have moved forward. And uh, Ken has actually said himself that he wants to work toward reconciliation. 
uh, we all recognize, actually Michael just said it, you know, to say, you know, as we say in the military, uh, when you add a force, you have a force multiplier. Ken can be a tremendous force multiplier for equality and for advancing civil rights. And I'm, I'm very glad that he is now on our team uh, to, to move it forward. So it is, it is very good news. We're very grateful that he's finally reached that point. We're not discounting or denying the past, and neither is Ken, frankly. Uh, but let's move forward. Onward and upward, folks. Well, I, I want to move forward. I think he needs to talk more about what happened and really address those issues. But you're absolutely right. Uh, this is uh, a great thing for uh, the gay community, certainly in terms of isolating uh, conservative Republicans who've been opposed to gay rights, and, and that's a good thing.